a warning tonight from a family who got an unexpected visit from wild animals. The city tells Channel 5 that someone brought them into town. Channel 5's Valerie Gonzalez visited with a family. Livestock is not allowed in city limits. The city code enforcement office says they believe someone brought them into the neighborhood. They ended up in a family's backyard. In the middle of a busy part of Westlaco, eight-year-old Gianna and her brother were bouncing on a trampoline. That noise was interrupted by another one. I heard like a little scratching noise or something. They got down and something started chasing them. And it was right behind me, like inches away from me. Gianna and her brother ran inside and told their mom. Marlena Aguirre went outside. That's when she saw them. Two javelinas roaming her yard. It chased me, and then that's when he came running. Her dog Jack jumped in before the wild pigs could reach her. They fought. Both received injuries. Right, it missed the main arteries. It got both sides, but it missed the main one that was in the middle. Aguirre called the city. It required a tranquilizer and a team of people to catch the pigs. Wessico's health official Joe Pedraza says these pigs didn't wander in from ranch lands. You might have your occasional hog here and there, but a javelina like that, that got brought in from somewhere. Pedraza says there's an ordinance in place to deter this from happening. Can now, Aguirre hopes this serves as a reminder about why that ordinance is in place. Green. Well, this could have been my child. This could have been my nine-year-old, my seven-year-old, and thank goodness it wasn't. Yes, he's my animal, he's my baby, but it could have been worse. Aguirre says they spent about $200 paying for Jack's medical needs. They had to pawn their child's Xbox to pay for it. Pedraza tells his city employees went around asking if the pigs belonged to anyone in the neighborhood. No one laid claim to them. Whoever does can expect a citation. In the studio, Valerie Gonzalez, Channel 5 News at 6.